Okay, I'm gonna make a little video here about how I crawl this uh, crawler crane, this 100 ton sani, down a steep slope. I'm gonna be crawling down this slope right here, down to this area down here. I need to lay my boom down for maintenance. And I can't do it here where I am. There's no room. There's trees and rocks all around me. I can't lay my boom down. So I need to crawl down here uh, to lay down my boom. This slope is about a four to one slope. It's about 80 feet from my crawlers there down to the road and uh, about a 20 foot drop or so. Uh, a four to one slope is a really mild slope for most heavy equipment, but it is pretty steep for a, a crawler crane. Uh, no uh, manufacturer is gonna give you instructions on how to crawl down a steep slope. They're gonna tell you these cranes can't operate on anything steeper than 2%. And this is definitely a lot steeper than 2%. It's kind of hard to tell from the camera. But when you're sitting up here in a cab, it looks pretty severe. So the two things you want to notice real quick. First, uh, I've got the jib on. I've got 141 foot of main boom and 60 feet of jib. And I've got my main is tied back. I'm at a high boom angle. Okay, my crawler frames are oriented so that my drives are down slope. You always want to have your drives down slope. And I'm going to be crawling with my counterweights up slope. You always want to have your counterweights up slope. Even if it's not this severe of a slope, you still want to have your counter counterweights up slope. So, on the LMI here, you can see how I'm set up, 141 foot of main and uh, um, see the 59 foot jib, and it's left at 15 degrees. I do not have the block on, I've got just a ball. I hate the block. It weighs 3,500 pounds. I hate crawling around with it. And you can see right here, I'm sitting pretty close to level, less than one degree off of level. And we'll be watching this. So the things you want to watch, watch your level. And you want to watch your capacity. Right now it's showing me having a capacity of 13,000 pounds. I don't ever want my capacity to get under 5,000 pounds. As you break over, and go down this slope, you're gonna lose capacity because your boom angle is lowering. It's gonna lower, you know, on this about 12 degrees. And you're gonna lose capacity. I wanna keep my capacity up above 5,000 pounds. Uh, the big danger here is tipping over forward. Now, some guys will tell you to lay your boom out flat on the ground and crawl down with your boom really low to the ground. That way, if you tip, you touch your boom. Uh, I can't do that here because I'd be ha I'd have my boom out in the water. And uh, to reduce the amount of load on the crane, you reduce your load radius by booming up. And that's why we, I'm gonna crawl down this at a high boom angle. To keep my load radius, see, you can see right now my load radius is under 100 feet. And uh, I want to keep my load radius as short as I can, but you know, with a 65 degree boom angle, um, I can only go another 10 degrees and it's going to be on the limits. So as I break over, you'll watch that 65 degree boom angle change there. And uh, what I'm going to do is lock the door open so that I can use my mirror and see what's going on. I'm going to go ahead and throttle up. I like to get my uh, engine speed up so that I have good hydraulic power and then we'll go ahead and start tracking off of the edge here watch your tracks as you're going you don't want to do this fast you want to go really really slow this right here is going to be too fast for breaking over this edge and you'll find out that when you break over this edge 
you want to do it at a slight angle that helps to uh, reduce the severity of the break over now as this thing breaks over you're going to be building momentum and that's what you do not want to do you do not want your momentum to exceed the weight of the crane if your momentum exceeds the weight of the crane you're going to flip and you do not want to do that so when we get right here to the edge and you can see my crawler starting to come off of the ground there we're just going to go really really slow over this edge and what you'll find is that the tracks are going to have a tendency to grab one side will grab and uh, you're going to have to really kind of ease it over this break here and we're going to go about this speed here and not any faster and keep an eye on your capacities as you're breaking over see that now this track on my right is grabbing and the track on my left keeps going so I'm going to try and track just with my my right track here and try and keep a, a straight on this slope but you can see how slow I'm going okay now it's starting to break you see we changed our slope now we're watch your slope here see two two degrees there and we're keep we're gonna keep going nice and slow and let it go over nice and slow one degree at a time is just fine you can watch your boom it doesn't really do you any good but you're just going to keep going slow slow so you don't build momentum you want this you want this change to be slow Okay, now look, my boom angle is down to 60 degrees. I've lost five degrees already. We're halfway there. We're gonna keep going nice and slow. And sometimes you gotta kinda wiggle it back and forth one track and then the other because of the pressure on the track pads. It doesn't want to uh, move, you know. So just go nice and slow. Now, like I said, I've, I've been up and down this slope many, many times, both with and without the jib on here. And uh, it's not going to uh, break over, you know, or flip over when it, when it breaks here. So it's, I'm almost back on the ground now. You can see my right side track is not wanting to move, though. But just keep it going. Do it nice and slow so you don't build momentum. Okay, what's our, look at our degrees here, 10 degrees already. We're going to get up to about 11 or 12 at the steepest here. And we're still moving down the slope. Now look at our boom angle, it's 55 degrees. Look at our capacity, 8,600 pounds. We want to keep that capacity up. If your capacity goes to zero, you're going to get close to flipping over. You do not want to have that happen. Okay, so this is about the slope that this is about 10 degrees uh, we've lost uh, 11 or so on boom angle we're still above 8,000 so let's uh, hop out and I'll give you a, a, an idea of what this looks like as you come off of this slope uh, the, the back of the machine picks up in the air a little bit not too terrible bad you know but we're up in the air a little bit you can see my tracks are laying on the ground I'm on the slope now and uh, there is my boom angle. It's, uh, it's still up there good. And uh, we're in good position to crawl on down this slope. So I'm going to keep going on the slope here. All of our slack. Let me, let me jump back down here. So right now, this section of the track is under tension. All the load of the machine is right here on this section of the track and all of our slack is up on top and that's where you want your tr your slack to be you want your slack to be up here if our crawler frame or if our final drive was on this end then all of our load would be up here and our slack would be bunched up right down here and that's why you don't want to do that because if you get your slack bunched up down here as you're coming down, that slack can jump 
a tooth on the final drive and uh, really do some damage to the finals. So whenever you're crawling a hill, no matter what equipment you're on, if it's a dozer, of course a high drive dozer like a cat, doesn't really matter, but any equipment that's got finals on the ground like this, you wanna keep those finals downhill. So here we go, I'm gonna go on down here and right when I get to this tree, I gotta turn a little bit to get down this slope. The slope doesn't quite go up straight. Ooh, you gotta watch your speed. You don't wanna build a lot of momentum. So keep it slow. We're kind of, uh, kind of greasy today. It's kind of muddy out here. And so it, it is trying to wanna slide on me slide down this hill which that's not good try and turn just a little bit here you can kind of tell that I'm turning a little bit okay well, let's keep running all the way down this slope here so the reason why I make this video is because manufacturers are going to tell you you can't do this you, you, you know they're, they're not going to put this in the in your load chart they're not going to put this see where my capacity is staying about 8,000 that's good boom angle staying about uh, above 50 degrees and that's good manufacturers are going to tell you you can't do this that you got to stay on a two degree slope or less and I certainly wouldn't want to try and swing when I'm in this kind of position and I certainly would not want to try and work you know operate pick a load or anything in this kind of position but sometimes you need to uh, get on some pretty steep ground to be able to get into position you need to be on to work on when you've got a really really short boom it's easy you could easily easily crawl a slope like this you could crawl a slope a lot steeper than this with a short boom but I got 100 and, well I got about 200 feet of boom on 141 feet of main and 59 feet of uh, jib look at that track sinking in the ground right there oh it's sinking good ain't it this road's pretty well packed I, I use this road quite a bit and uh, I keep it pretty well compacted but I'll get down here and I'm going to lay my boom down over this direction so that I can grease all my ropes and all my shivs and everything and just basic maintenance that you need to do every month and I'll get down here now you can see we're starting to level off here we're down to two down to three there's a the tracks popping And that's probably all the flatter we're gonna get right there. A little under, a little under two maybe we can get. Yeah, that's about it. That's about all we can get right there. So now I'm down on the road. Let's throttle down and I'll show you. And there's where we were. And now we're sitting down here on the road. And like I said, I'll swing my boom and lay it over there and get to work. But that's just a quick, quick example of uh, what you can do on a crawler crane. It is possible. Just watch your capacity. If your capacity goes to zero, you're in trouble. Don't let that capacity get to zero.